Hello there, Gemini. Amy Energy here with a tarot message for you. All right, if you are a Gemini sun, you are currently having your own little new moon because the moon is currently in Gemini. If you are a Gemini moon, you're having your lunar return. Okay, but no matter what sun sign or moon sign you are, everybody has Gemini somewhere in their chart. So this reading is for you. All right. We are using the Thoth Tarot deck. We're going to pull out for our environment, past, present, and future. Okay, keep in mind this is a general reading and it will not resonate for everyone. Use your own intuition to take what does resonate for you, leave what doesn't. If you want to book a personal with me, you can do so on my website, amyenergy.online. Okay, we're also going to pull out for our connections, past present and future. All right, again, the moon is in Gemini currently. All right, I'm going to try in the future to get the videos out before the moon is in the sign. But right now, I think it's, it's about 11 degrees Gemini as I'm doing this reading. So... All right, we're also going to pull out for our contribution, okay, our contribution to society, whatever that might be, even if it's just taking care of yourself, that is a contribution, okay, the tower just flew out, always love to see that, all right, contributions, past, present, and future. Okay, make sure you give my video a thumbs up, Gemini. Check in. Let me know you're here, you're watching, and that you'd like me to make more videos for you. Six of Discs is on the bottom of the deck here. We're going to clarify with this beautiful holographic Pamela Coleman Smith deck. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into environment. Again, use your own intuition. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, so in the past, we were really processing information here with the truce card coming out. The Four of Swords, okay, we were trying to come to a conclusion about something, all right, trying to get really get the information that we needed, okay. Find stability. We're going to clarify that. Yeah, justice card coming out here. So we were really seeking clarity, right, um, to kind of implement or at least know how to implement or get ready to implement everything that we've learned. All right, now in the current energy, you have jumped off the cliff here with the fool. Okay, you are midair right now. Wow. So I definitely feel like you have found this clarity and you've found a, a stability, a peace within yourself that's allowed you to really take a leap of faith in your life. Okay, we have two coming out here. We love to see it. The Magician and the Ace of Wands. We're going for... A whole new beginning here okay the magician coming out lets me know that you know we're moving pretty quickly right from the fool to the magician the magician is the maturation of the fool okay so it's almost like the second you take this jump you're really becoming empowered and realizing that you do have everything you need and this is a passionate beginning here with the Ace of Wands, right? This is what you wanted. This is what you really, truly desired. And I feel like you're jumping right into it. Okay, the Prince of Discs is in the future energy, which, you know, it's not as exciting of an energy. 
Um, so I do feel like don't get discouraged, though, because, you know, with every great idea, we do have to put the work in. So I see you really starting something so new here, and then we're putting in the work. Yeah, Four of Pentacles also coming out. And the Wheel of Fortunes here. Okay, so there's our excitement, right? We are at the beginning of something completely new. We're really closing out the cycle that we've been in, okay? And we're starting a completely new journey here, okay? So when it comes to money or resources, um, that could be where there is some things we need to work on, right? With the Four of Pentacles, we may need to be a little frugal, figure out our financial situation, okay? We have to be stable, and that's unfortunate. But the Wheel of Fortune is here, so I do feel like there's so much goodness coming into your life. It's just a matter of really believing in what you're doing and believing that every step you take is worth it, okay? Um, we might have to be figuring out the kind of boring things right right now, but it's going to be worth it, okay? And all the work you do, like with the Prince of Discs, this is kind of a slow card, but with the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, it's almost like it might feel like really tedious in the moment when you're doing it, but it's almost like every good work you do the universe is, like, going to magnify it for you. So it's interesting energy. Let's move into our connections. Okay. Oh, interesting. In the past, we have the ten of discs, wealth here. Okay, so I feel like in our past, we had a pretty fruitful community, a lot of, like, good connections resources okay two want to come out here the two of swords and the queen of swords so i feel like you know we may have walked away from something pretty substantial here um but i feel like there was a lot going on a lot of busyness and a lot of goodness right the ten of discs is one of my favorite cards but with the queen of swords i do see that there was some reason why we had to put up some boundaries or yeah walk away from this situation with the page of pentacles i see us kind of going on a new path here a new journey okay so we may have walked away again from something substantial and maybe from a partnership maybe we really like were in a relationship with somebody and we were very stable right we had it all we had a nice dishwasher and a nice coffee pot and new furniture and a nice home. And maybe we walked away from all of that or it could manifest in your life differently. Okay, regardless in the current energy, we have the seven of wands. So we're standing up for ourselves. We're standing up for something here. Oh my gosh, the cards are flying everywhere. All right, clarifying the Seven of Wands for Gemini. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so, yeah, I feel like we might have had it all in the past, but we want it all, all by ourselves, right? We're really fighting to be able to make our own way, to be able to be self-sufficient here. Okay, really lovely in your current energy, Gemini. You really took a risk here. You really jumped into a whole new world, and it's going to pay off, okay? Now, we do have the Five of Cups disappointment in the future energy, but, you know, don't let that scare you because it's a minor arcana, okay? And especially if we left a relationship or left a community or, you know, there's going to be feelings about that, and it makes sense you wouldn't quite be feeling them yet, right? Because a lot of times, you know, for me personally, 
whenever I've been in a transitional phase, you know, I'm a very emotional person. So, you know, if I couldn't somehow detach from that to be able to do what I need to do, right, to assert my will, then I never would have done it, right? But when we do that, because we have to transition from one space to a new space, then, you know, we still have to process those emotions. And so I'm kind of feeling that sort of storyline for you here, Gemini, that we're moving into a space where we're going to have the space to hold for ourselves. Okay, so those emotions might come up. Be prepared for that. But through those emotions, there is tremendous growth available to you. Okay, yeah, King of Wands coming out. It's almost like, you know, feeling our feelings here is what's going to really light that fire inside of us and really um, help us to go down the path that we need to go, right? The King of Wands is not the most traditional king, right? The King of Wands can kind of go against the grain here. And we have the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I really, truly feel like we're in a position, Gemini, where we are really soon going to be understanding how magical we are, but we might not be there a hundred percent yet right we might still have these moments of doubt or disappointment here with the five of cups but it is important that you allow yourself to feel what's coming up for you and maybe we're seeking guidance from someone who has already went down this path right with the king of wands this could be someone coming into your energy that is inspiring to you that really can be an example of how to move your energy okay now let's get into our contribution all right we have the aeon card the three of discs and the princess of cups okay so wow we have the aeon card this is a really powerful card here and this to me really has to do with you know your spirit guides your ancestors okay so i feel like you've really been getting messages here for a while trying to kind of pull you out of wherever you've been right three of swords and the strength card okay so in the past here you have these messages coming in, and it is what has given you strength, right? I feel like you've been through a lot, Gemini, a lot of pain here, heartbreak with the Three of Swords, and you've endured all of that here with the Strength card. And I feel the reason you were able to endure all that you had was because you were being supported by your ancestors, those who came before you, your spirit guides around you. Okay, and they really, I feel, played a big part in you being able to accept the truth, even if it hurt, okay? And that truth is opening up now opportunities in your current situation here with the three of discs, okay? Really lovely. We're very open, okay, very open energy. Yeah, King of Pentacles is coming out. So, you know, we have these two kings here, and I do feel like both of them could be, like, people who can help you, right? Because I'm feeling this with the King of Pentacles. It's really, like, I feel like someone who could be, like, a role model, regardless of gender, right? But someone in your community. Maybe we're in some sort of like community program, right? Or some sort of therapy. But I feel like we have somebody really solid here with the King of Pentacles who can give us very practical advice on how to move forward. 
And we have judgment here. So it's really by working, it may be more than one person also with the three of discs. But I feel like the people who we're surrounding ourselves with now are really helping us to see things for what they are. With that judgment card, we're really improving our own judgment and, you know, having this healthy space and environment to unpack everything that has transpired here. Now, in the future, we have the Princess of Cups, and this is a beautiful card. Okay, beautiful energy here. And I feel like this is you finally being free to express yourself. Okay, yeah, Page of Pentacles as well. So, and Page of Wands. Wow. So, a lot of pages coming out, and I do feel like you're in that energy. And don't be discouraged by that at all. Um, you know, I do feel sometimes with the Page of Pentacles, we can feel like we don't have enough of whatever element it is. And here we have fire, water, and earth all expressed. So maybe we feel like we don't have enough energy or we don't have enough money or we, you know, aren't able to express our emotions enough. But we have enough, right? You have enough creative ideas. You have enough money and you have enough energy for what you need to do. You just have to listen to yourself right and understand that you're at the beginning it's not really a card of pushing yourself but it's a card i feel of being very grounded and feeling being able to feel where you're at right because with the pages or the princesses um they are first earth energy and then whatever element they are right so princess of cups is earth and water page of pentacles is earth and earth Page of Wands, Earth, and Fire. So, you know, with each of the pages, you really have to be grounded because you're just starting out. So you don't want to run before you walk, right? Very interesting here. Definitely um, lean on your community, the people who want to help you. Let them help you, okay? I do feel... You know, in the middle here, there could be a real desire to do everything on your own because maybe you're used to that and maybe you had to be incredibly um, strong and resilient and independent to get out of a situation here. But, you know, no one can be an island. Even if the situation you were in here in the past wasn't ideal and you had to kind of protect yourself from those energies, you still have to engage with other people, right? So you, it's not to just do everything on your own, okay? As long as there are people that you can trust, let them help you, right? We have the six of discs on the bottom of the deck. So this is, I mean, it's the energy of success, but to me, the six of discs is where we really learn the value of our energy, and, you know, I feel with you learning valuable lessons, you are more empowered now. Even if you're just starting out, you are more empowered and you are going to be able to read the energies and understand more what energies are right for you. Okay, let's get past, present, and future energies from my oracles. I have two here, the um, Astro Elemental and the Airmail Oracle, both by Sarah Stacy, and you can um, purchase these decks. I have her information in my description box below. All right. Past, present, and future. All right, we have Hold explore and ground <laughs> yes flow is on the bottom of the deck here gemini so i do feel like in the past with this hold energy we were 
like holding our vision, right? We had to really process a lot of information. We had to wait on the clarity and find our way forward. And, you know, I do feel like that could have in itself been a really kind of, how do I want to say, like a tough process, but more than, you know, just like um, time consuming, right? It might have really required you to be very resilient and really hold your vision. And now in your current energy, you're in this exploring phase, right? With Explore coming out, you're really, I feel, exploring your own magic, exploring your community, exploring connections that feel good, and people that can help you kind of find yourself and contribute because I feel like you do have a real desire to contribute something to society and, you know, to like know what your purpose is. Why are you here, right? Like that's what I feel like you're trying to find out here. And then can't make this up, right? The ground card coming out. And that's exactly what I was feeling like we with all the pages, right? We have to stay very grounded. Okay, so this was a really beautiful uh, reading here, Gemini. I hope that I really expressed everything in a way that was digestible, okay? Um, because it's really, it's really beautiful, right? Here in the future, like, it's not without challenge. There's challenge here, but you got this, right? You really are where you need to be. All right, let's get a Sacred Destiny Oracle over this portion of your reading. All right, we have forgiveness. Wow, let's read that out of the book here. Forgiveness, sunset glow. The sacred landscape wants you to know it is human to want to hold on to the past. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can't make it up. Our memories, experiences, and relationships. However, there can be times when we are carrying so much of the past that we can't fully see the present. The past doesn't need to equal the future. Just because you had a pattern or recurring challenge in the past doesn't mean that it needs to recur in the future. The key is to be willing and ready to simply and cleanly let go of the hold that the past has on you. The past is gone, and it's okay to let it go. The way to do this is to fully immerse yourself in the here and now. Be super aware of the sights, sounds, smells, textures, and energy of your present. When you do this, the past simply vanishes and the glory of the present emerges. All right. Wow, beautiful. I want to also read Release here. Autumn Light, the sacred landscape, wants you to know when you receive this card, it is time to let go and surrender. Let go of situations, people, and objects that do not serve you. Let go of old, outmoded, self-limiting beliefs that drag you down. This is a time of stripping away superficial distractions until you reach who you are at your core. If you are holding on to the old, it is difficult for anything new to come into your life. Begin to clear your home and living environments of clutter. If you don't love it or use it, it is probably clutter. Clear it out of your space. It is time for a detox. To get ready for the new, you must release the old. All right, now let's get us an affirmation. 
All right, let's see. What affirmation do we need for Gemini? Again, Gemini, if you want to book a personal with me, you can do so on my website, amyenergy.online. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram at amyenergy and on TikTok at amyenergy3. All right. All right, here's our affirmation. Nature loves me. Opening my heart to nature helps me feel happy and peaceful. All right, there's your affirmation. Say that every day. You can screenshot it here. Use it as a background for your phone. Right, if you do that, definitely um, take a screenshot, share it on Instagram, and tag me. Right, I would love to see these affirmations out in the wild, helping you to call in beautiful, positive energy into your life, into your day, whenever you need it. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get into the next part of the reading here. Gemini, we are going to do a little love reading. Now, this is just for fun, okay? If you want to book a personal with me, again, my website is amyenergy.online. Okay, and you do want to go and get on my mailing list so that you'll know if I have any special offers or promo codes. So for this reading, again, just for fun, use your own intuition. Okay, will not resonate for everyone, but for this reading, you are going to want to have a person in mind, okay? We're going to see how your person feels about you, starting with their current energy. Ooh, interesting. So. Your person is really going through a major change, okay? Like, this relationship could be, we could have had a fresh relationship that was ending. I was feeling that kind of in your reading. So I do feel like, you know, your person right now, they're not sure which way to go in their life. Um, but nonetheless, life is moving, right, with the Wheel of Fortune, that's a 10. There's a cycle ending whether they want to acknowledge it or not. Okay, how do they feel about you? How does this person feel about Gemini? Oh, okay. Two of Pentacles and the Strength card. So this person, I feel like they don't really want to let you go. They'd rather work on things. Okay, I feel like they definitely feel like they've invested a lot into this connection. Let's see, what is the action they might like to take toward Gemini? Three of Wands, Queen of Discs, or, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so really interesting here, Gemini. I feel like your person is sort of planning for the future. They kind of want to get to a space where they are a little bit more comfortable and, you know, able to just focus on their self, focus on their healing. Here's that Queen of Swords, right? And there it was in your reading here, too, in Connections. So, yeah, Gemini, you could have, like, really said a lot, right? They could still be processing that. And so maybe they just want to kind of not, not hear that stuff anymore. <laughs> um, I kind of feel that, you know? Maybe 
Maybe the words you said were necessary, but there's always two sides to a story, right? So just because you said what was true or what was necessary doesn't mean it was easy or positive for this person's mental health. Um, so I feel like they're kind of planning to get out of their current situation and... You know, they're really, I feel like they're, they're thinking about what you said, though. They, they might not like it, but they are thinking about it, and they're kind of just looking at their options for moving forward with, with everything that's happened. Okay, what is your current energy in this connection, Gemini? Justice, there it is, right? Justice was in your first reading too in the environment. So we have justice and the six of swords. Yeah, Gemini, I feel like you have moved on. You've really gotten clarity on this situation. And, you know, you're, you're moving away, right? The fool is here again. The fool was in your reading. You're really just being very carefree in this moment, trying to find balance in your own life, trying to move into a calmer situation. All right, how does your person think you feel about them? Interesting. Really interesting here. So your person, how they think you feel about them. We have the three of pentacles and the page of pentacles. So I feel like they do feel like there's decent enough communication, but maybe that you are still like giving the bare minimum with the page of pentacles. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a lot that happened here with the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. There is a lot that's happened here. So it's more than just like what you're giving, but it's almost like what you're giving is like a reflection of this person's pain, right? Like it's like I don't feel like your person's necessarily like materialistic or anything like that. Um, plus, I'm not really feeling this as so much money, but more energy. Um, but I do feel like your person really associates like how little of energy you give them with everything they've been through in this relationship or maybe in their life, right? They could have a lot of pain from the past that they are carrying with them. Um, it could be the pain of this situation ending. Right? What is the advice for Gemini? Advice for Gemini in this situation. Ace of Pentacles. And the moon, yeah, keep going down your path. Even if you're unsure in this moment, it's really, it's time for you to start new here, okay? And honestly, it's not 100% clear to me if we are, you know, just from your first reading, I feel like we're definitely <laughs> moving away from... A community or a situation or some friend it, like it's really interesting it's interesting because I do feel like in when I was originally doing this original reading I felt like we're moving away from a relationship where we you know have it all we're really comfortable but I feel like really in this relationship reading, if this part has resonated for you, I feel like maybe we are actually turning our back on different connections that we had in our community. Maybe we're even moving away from our community to like focus solely on this relationship. Or 
you could be moving out of the relationship focusing solely on yourself here with the Ace of Pentacles. Either way, Gemini, you know where you are at, right? This being a general reading, I can't tell you exactly how it's going to resonate for you. But I feel for some of you, you are wanting to work this out. Your person's wanting to work this out. Okay, yeah, you, you know, I feel like, again, it's just playing out differently. Right. But I feel like your person wants to work it out. They've really invested a lot here. And I feel like they think that you want to work it out too. And they, yeah, so. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure 100% how it's playing out for you, Gemini, but I do feel for some of you we could be actually choosing to kind of take our energy away from other things to focus on this relationship. But it's whatever path you're on right now, you're going to stay with that path. So really with the moon, it's like focus on your fears. Like what are you afraid of? Right, because I feel like we walked away from a certain situation. We took a leap of faith to get into a new situation. And now maybe we're like, is this what I really want? Stay on your path. Stay on whatever path you're on. Stay on that path. Follow that path. Trust your gut. The moon is all about trusting, right? And again, the moon is in your sign. The moon is in Gemini right now. It is guiding you and leading you to exactly where you need to be. Go outside and look at it. She's almost full. She's getting fuller every day. All right, let's get a card for Gemini from the Love Oracles. All right, we have Ernest Hemingway. Treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Don't allow tourists into your own private Paris. To love someone and mean it is a rare and valuable thing. Okay. I do feel love in this connection. Your person loves you. Your person really does love you. With that strength part, very heart-centered. All right, and a card for Gemini's person. A card for Gemini's person. Cross watchers, this one is for you. But then again, no cross watchers here because everyone has Gemini in their chart. Okay, but this is a card for Gemini's person. All right. We have Marquis. I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this. Marquis de Sade. I don't even know. It's terrible. It is always by way of pain one arrives at pleasure. Either kill me or take me as I am, because I'll be damned if I ever change. Certain souls may seem harsh to others, but it is just a way of caring and feeling more deeply. Wow. That's, wow. Okay. Let's read the bottom of the deck. Ryan Gosling. Silence has more meaning than the words you don't say. The hardest role to play is yourself. Don't let someone else write your private life. Okay, so take all those messages, how they resonate for you. And let's see, Gemini, how would your person, um, what would they say to you? What would your person say to you if they had the courage to speak their truth out loud? Okay. What would Gemini's person say if they had the courage to speak their truth out loud. Stay away from me. Okay. Wow. That's intense. 
and it's all caps too so i feel like i feel like with these two cards your person could be like very emotional and very intense okay give me one card what would gemini's person say to them if they had the courage to speak their truth out loud Every song reminds me of you, and I love your body is on the bottom of the deck, okay? So there you have it, Gemini. There are your messages. If you liked this reading, please do not forget to leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment as well. Again, I am at Amy Energy on Instagram at Amy Energy Free on TikTok. And if you want to book a personal, you can do so at amyenergy.online. Most importantly, Gemini, I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.